You cannot hear me? Better. Okay. I want to first really thank you all for coming. And we really, the Muslim community of Tampa here, do appreciate you all for all the efforts. Thank you all. Thank you for really the genuine efforts that you guys do. And uh, I wanted especially to thank Melba really for the continuous, always she was there on the top of things. And she is the one who really set the plans and then asked, what do you think? She sent me that and I told her, what do you think? This is beautiful. I, I, I cannot say no to this. And I really appreciate her help and her effort and she's always, always, always working very hard. She works on behalf of our community and I believe she also sort of represents you all. I do appreciate every single one of you to come today because it is a special day. Today is the first of the year and we do all want to start a new year. A new good year with no violence. Yeah. 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 We are all human beings. We have feelings and we have emotions. Each and every one of us feel almost the same thing when somebody hurts. So we don't want to feel that somebody is hurting and we are doing nothing about it. We need to always get together to help each other, to help, regardless what, who you are, whether you're Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Buddhist, it doesn't really matter who you are, you're a human being. And at the end, we are all together. We need to be on, united all together, one hand, one vote, to support each other. And believe me, there is some bad people, but there is bad people everywhere. And you cannot just look at one side and say all these people are bad just because of a human being, one bad person. No, there is always a bad person in every community, in every religion, everywhere. So let's, let's not have a double standard and let's all have really be good, good heart inside, be together, help each other because really at the end we are all together. I want to thank you all again for coming. Thank you, Melba, for giving me this opportunity to speak. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ryan. I'm a sophomore at the University of South Florida, and uh, I'm just speaking. <laughs> Uh, I'm just speaking on behalf of the, the Muslim community in, in Tampa. We really do, second um, for the Nursa Hebs motion, we really do appreciate all of you guys uh, making the drive. I know the Unitarian Church from Clearwater came out. So, round of applause for everyone. And um, this is what America is right here. If you look around, you know, all of us coming from different backgrounds, um, immigrants, people who have lived there here all, all their lives. This is, this is what America is. And um, ignorance is a big problem in this society. And like, when people don't know what, that's why people are scared of the dark, because they don't know what, what's in the dark. Yeah. So I implore all of everyone to meet your Muslim coworkers, your neighbors, and get to know them and Muslims also to, to meet your Christians or, or Buddhists or to everyone meet each other and clarify misconceptions. <laughs> uh, that's basically it. So I really appreciate all of you guys coming out here today and um, I hope we can do more events like this and we can uh, clarify misconceptions together.
band aids on Saturdays from uh, from the Sunshine Patient Center, which is very close to here. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I don't remember her name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm so glad to be here today and see uh, everybody here together. I think this is my third event that I have been participating so far in uh, United States of America in Tampa, Florida. And I'm being here three years. For you know, this is my this is my fourth year. And I'm glad to see lots of people and from various kind of um, um, traditions and religions. And I am <clears throat> I'm a Buddhist monk, and I became a monk ten years ago. And after I became a monk, I realized that there's no any religion, but there is one thing that we can practice is loving kindness. Right on. We call it love and kindness and compassion. And I came out from that frame that I don't I I began to believe that we don't need to frame people saying that this is Buddhist, this is Christian, and this is Muslim, and this is this and that, but all need to practice loving kindness, compassion, generosity, and um, you know, showing sympathy to other people, and not only just people, in all all type of beings, understanding that all of us are beings, human beings. In order to make a nice planet on this world, on this planet, we need to, we have to love each other. We have to love to this nature, the environment, to people, to you know, all living beings, right? So that way we can reduce our violence and bring peace. But as long as we do have frames, segregations, we have a conflict. Because each one of us is going to try to protect our frame. This is my frame, you know what I mean? So then there's a fight. But if if we can remove those labels and um, frame and bring everybody into one thing which is called we call loving kindness and compassion and let's practice loving kindness and generosity and morality and help each other through those spiritual principles so I am trying to help people as much as I can through the spiritual principles by teaching loving kindness and compassion and I love to learn that from other people. But I'm open. To it. So if somebody sees me with this drop and think, oh, he's a Buddhist monk, we cannot talk to him. It's wrong. <laughs> the reason that I wear this drop is because I began to realize this is where I can practice loving kindness and compassion most. That's why I began to, you know, I decided to be a monk. When I learned the the teachings of the Buddha and I come, came out of the Buddhist religion and embraced the practicing not just have a frame called Buddhist so the meaning of this robe is means like whoever wear this robe should practice loving kindness and compassion and generosity and morality so we don't kill beings we don't steal anyone's belongings we don't lie and we don't, uh, we don't blame each other, we don't betray each other. You know, we stop doing all the stuff. And we don't handle money and use money and stuff. And we are not after money. We are after kindness and compassion and peace. So today, it's a really, really good opportunity for me that I was able to see this all, you know, all of you guys here and talking about human rights. So our right is to love each other and share our love and compassion with each other. So, may all of you be happy and calm and peaceful. May all of you be free from anger, greed, jealousy, hatred, and mental suffering and physical suffering. And may all of you live long and be happy. Amen. Thank you very much. Let me announce something, and if anybody else wants to speak, you can. Uh, Wednesday, January 13th, there's a, uh, uh, a rally in March, uh, End Violence Against Muslims and Refugees, and it meet at the corner of Fowler and 56th Street at 6 p.m. So, let you know that, and would anybody else like to speak?
Thank you very much. I can't imagine following some of these people. Uh, my name is Michael Newitt, and I'm the uh, London Executive <laughs> Committee for the Sierra Club here in Tampa Bay. And uh, we are one of the few large groups who both have a political side and we have an environmental side. And uh, if there's anybody here who would like to think about joining our group, we have two and a half million members in the United States. And some of them are in this room right here, along with all you terrific environmentalists. We believe that the earth has civil rights too. Yeah. So I feel like we have to join together, all of us. And I have uh, membership applications right here. And uh, the first 10 people who want one of these membership applications today, I'm going to personally pay for. So if anybody wants any, uh, just raise your hands, I'll bring them around to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hi, I, I'm Jennifer Sullivan, and I'm with the Green Party of Florida in the United States. And I just want to say, I know, they're going, oh, political parties, ooh, I hate politics. And I'm late, because what we've seen, what we've had, but we're different, and just to let us know, we stand in solidarity for justice, social justice for everyone, and peace on this planet, and for, it's one of our pillars, peace, um, social justice, and also, um, keeping the planet alive I mean so it's all good things so that's just I just want to say we stand for solidarity it is something different we can change the paradigms we just got to do it we got to stop saying this is what we're fed by the corporate media this is what we're told is going to happen and just realize oh no you can take it and make it happen so you know take the power and take the power in peace I'm Reverend Jacob Hero. I'm the senior pastor of MCC Tampa. Uh, and basically, I, at these types of events, feel like the white Christian dude should speak the least, but um, because we have a long history of talking too much. So I will just say this. I'm very grateful that, that this space is here and that we are all together. Thank you. Hello, my name is Marta Pearson. I am a member of the Unitarian Universalist Church here in Tampa. Um, I have something that I'm now promoting, and I feel that this is one of the best places that I could speak about it, and maybe at this time next year, we will have a um, outpouring. I am uh, encouraging people to create what I call a joy jar. Take a jar or a box. <laughs> and label it joys and whenever you experience a joy this year write it down and put it in the jar now I expanded that to happiness the difference between happiness and joy is when I get a good meal that's happy when I get a, 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 a lobster with my best friend in Maine that's joy <laughs> okay so there's a difference happiness happens frequently joy less frequently and it's more intense I also add it because a very, very good friend of mine is about to go on a, a life-changing journey moving 2,000 miles away, new experiences. So I basically have labeled my jar joy, happiness, and new experiences. And every time one of those occur, it goes in the jar. On a down day, when it's cloudy, either outside or in your heart, pull one out, reread it re-experience the joy or the happiness or the new experience that you had. Put it back in the jar and December 31st of next year, read all of your joys and your happinesses and your new experiences. Let's not keep our peace and our calm and our commitments inside. Let's put them in action and I think this is one way to do it. So I hope to hear that a lot of people are beginning to experience joy in the active, not just in the passive. And if you uh, would like, I do have a website. It's Marta, M-A-R-T-A, U-U, speaker.com. Marta, U-U-A, speaker.com. Thank you, and I, I wish you joy, happiness, and new experiences in 2016. Anyone else? My name is Jennifer Sullivan. I'm 
My name is Quaker. Uh, this is my name. Quaker. My name is Karen Putney, and I'm a Quaker. The Quaker meeting is over on Sly near the zoo. Um, and those who aren't familiar with Quakerism, we're a religion, a Christian religion, which um, we have no clergy. We our worship is held in silence. And sort of a fundamental belief of Quakerism is there's that of God in every human being. And for this reason, um, we are pacifist. Uh, we're very committed to uh, simplicity, peace, integrity, community, equality. Those are sort of some guiding lights for us. And um, I would like to share, because I, I see people here, I want to really thank everyone here, but I want to especially thank those who put this together. I think there are an awful lot of people in our community who are seeking a way to connect with our Muslim community because we're afraid you're afraid. We're afraid of what's happening in our country, that you're being threatened. And we uh, really seek to stand in solidarity, but we don't know you well enough to do that. And that's probably our fault. And uh, it's too bad that we're being reactive instead of having been proactive in building those relationships. But that's the truth of our life in this country in many ways. And I just hope that whatever comes out of this, uh, we have more opportunities to to meet in this kind of informal way and maybe more formal ways where um, maybe we're pushed together a little bit more and really seeking out those relationships because um, we do feel it's very important for us to who are pacifists who are um, seeking that other world we know is possible that we're not seeing around us right now that we work together um, we certainly can't do it alone and the other thing I would share is uh, I serve on a Quaker organization called the Friends Committee on National Legislation. We're the largest registered peace lobby on Capitol Hill. We have 42 employees on Capitol Hill, and we um, regularly lobby on peace and social justice issues. Uh, we have staff who just come back to women, young women. We have a lot of young staff. Most of our staff's under the age of 35 who have just come back from Gaza and are giving us briefings on their friends who they visited in Palestine. We um, have staff who are working very hard on uh, climate change and uh, we constantly work on disarmament. That's one of our big issues. We firmly believe in disarmament and have been working on it since we went to Capitol Hill in 1943. So it's fcnl.org, and anyone who's interested in knowing more about it, I'd be happy to talk to you, or about me, or my husband, or <laughs> friends in general. Uh, the Quakers are also known as the Religious Society of Friends, and we refer to ourselves as friends. Thank you. Hello, um, a few of us have recently started a refugee solidarity project called Love Has No Borders. We've been helping people with translation, with rides, we had a picnic last month, um, tutoring, just anything that recently arrived, refugees from Syria or Afghanistan or uh, Iraq or any other place. Um, they, we are in touch with families, and we're also in touch with the community and trying to get needs met. And if anybody is interested in being involved, um, it's Love Has No Borders. You can find us on Facebook or like, come see me um, after this is over. Thanks. Jimmy.